Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm back in the mini catalogue and I'm looking at page 61 and I'm looking at the Botanical Prince product medley. I've got it to the side of me, we're going to do a few projects with it. But let me just explain what you get because I think you look through this and notice it's £65 and think, oh that's a pricey stamp set and you skip on past. But this has everything. And that little picture in the bottom, I think people miss it. So I want to show you everything that is in the Botanical Prints product medley. So I'm just gonna balance my catalog up there. Can I, can I? Yes, I think I've got it balanced. If it falls, I apologize. So when you get the medley, you get this lovely box. I've opened it because I wanted a sneak peek. And here is a stamp set. As well as a stamp set, you get the matching dies. Let me show you those. So let's pop those out. Honestly, this set is amazing. So you get the, the stamp set, the dies. You get a ribbon. This is old olive and it's beautiful. It's, here you go. Here's all the details that you need on it, but look how beautiful it is gonna have that out to play with it in a minute as we get creating and then in this little bag I know full of goodies we've got some punch outs so you've got two sheets of two different types so you've got two of the fruit and two here of labels that's to go with it exciting You've got some laser cut fronts for your cards or backs for your cards or whatever you really want to do with them. You've got two of this style and you've got two of this style. On the front, it's in Pretty Peacock. Turn it over and you have it in the cream. So you can sponge all of this and make it fun and interesting colors. Then you get some DSP. This is 48 sheets of six by six DSP. So it's exactly the same as if you buy a DSP paper stack in the catalog, the six by six, you still get the 48 prints. I'm just putting that at the front. Does anyone notice this adhesive that the dies are attached with? It's like sticky. <laughs> if you stick your paper on top of it, you're gonna ruin your paper. So be wary. So this is the first style. No, it's not. That's the back style. Oh, they were different. They looked the same, didn't they? So we've got this one. And you've got six of each design. So you've got that style on the front and that style on the back. There's another one there sneaking out. You have this one that has this style on the front and this style on the back. This is quite thick. I'm trying to get six of them and I'm getting about four and thinking I've got six. So this is actually quite thick paper, just to let you know. We've then got this one, which is this style on the front and this style on the back. Aren't these colors amazing? Yeah, they are. <laughs> this one here, it makes me want to sing that Oranges and Lemons song. I'm not going to offend you by trying to sing it, but that's what I think of when I think that. And this one, this is Terracotta Tile. So Terracotta Tile and Pretty Peacock are from the In Colours that came out last year. They're the 2019-2021 In Colours, so they're still available. And this is Crushed Curry, which is a lovely colour. Now this one here I'm really excited about. It has lemons on with the Crushed Curry, but look at the back. I love paper like this. I think it's amazing. I can make so much with stripy paper. And then finally, this one as well. How gorgeous are those? And I'm a non-fruit eater. I actually have an allergy called oral allergy syndrome or a natural protein syndrome and I can't eat fruits. So I think I just, I just like the look of them. I'm gonna have a play. So what am I gonna play with first? I've got my card bases. I should tell you what I've got on the side of my desk. I've got card bases, I've got card fronts. I have got a sheet of each type of card stock. So I've got um, basic black, crushed curry, old olive, pretty peacock, terracotta tile and white, and I've got all of the inks as well. So let's have a look. I like that. How cute's that? Am I gonna use that one? 
Do you, I think I'm gonna apply it straight to my card base. So am I gonna use that one? That one. So these are good fun to stick on. I'm gonna wait and see what else I'm gonna put on with it and then I can work out where I'm putting my adhesive. If not, you've gotta try and get glue dots in the corner. So we'll work that one out. Um, I'm not gonna do any stamping yet. I'm gonna use one of these punch outs. The stamp sets just fell. So I might not be doing any stamps ping at all. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one with the oranges. How many of you have now got oranges and lemons stuck in your head? Because it is humming away in mine. Okay. I'm gonna use one of these labels now. So actually I'm gonna need to put a stamp on there. Um, I think I'm gonna put friend. So what is lovely about having a product medley is when you get a kit, you sometimes need to buy the stamp separately or you don't have the papers that match because you do have literally the kit of what you've bought, whether it's a stamp kit with stamp and a card or whether it's a paper kit and the papers. This has everything in. And if you think, normally when you buy a bundle, you're paying almost £50 for that. This is £65 and you're getting everything i just can't believe the value of the money of it and i honestly think people who look through the catalogue see it's 65 pound and think oh it's just a stamp set it's not it's everything everything well other than your, your inks and your tentfold card but that's your basics you've got that anyway so which one am i going to go with i'm going to go with this one it's pretty or am i going to go with that no this one friend love it okay and then these, you just push them out. This is so simple. But with the dies in it, you could actually make it more complicated to suit you. And this is going to last you forever, so I love this. Oh, look what I've done with my hand. That didn't dry very quick. i flip it. I'm going to use another one. Don't tell anyone. That is proper waste. And then I'll just use the back of that on a different card. But I really want to show you with a line around it. Is that really obvious? I'm going to use another one. So, I will tell you, this paper is a little bit... It's not matte paper like our usual paper is. It's just got a little bit of a sheen on it. So I think this ink might take a little bit longer to dry on it. So just give that a second, because I don't want the same thing to happen. The ribbon. I'm gonna make a couple of cards for you today, I think. I'm gonna use some of the DSP as well, because the DSP is beautiful. Might use some of the lemon DSP, maybe. had a thought I'm not gonna lie I think I quite like that so that is three and three quarter inches so where is my trimmer I'm gonna go to there I'm going to do just over three and three quarter inches, so it's just around the side. And height weighs, that is, this is why we have grid paper, five inches. It is so handy to work out your measurements on the mat that you're actually using, but be able to replace it as well when it gets messy. Brilliant, so that's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. That's going to go around the back. Love it. So now with my adhesive, because this this can be tricky to adhere onto the card. So I've worked out that I roughly want my arrangement to be there. So I'm going to turn it over with that there. 
I'm going to use my snail and I'm going to apply snail all over this so that it definitely, definitely sticks because that trellis is going to be quite hard to stick with it being so fine. And I know I want that one there, like that. the ribbon around. This is an unplanned video but I did an unplanned video the other day and it worked quite nicely but I just think for the kit it's really nice to open it with everything still in it so you can see everything that comes with it and then make something. If I'd made something first you'd have been missing some of the lovely stuff that's in the kit and there's gorgeous stuff in the kit. You know what else I like about this fruit? It's realistic. We had some fruit a few years ago, which I loved, so I'm not saying anything against it, but they were really cartoony type fruit. This is realistic fruit. This is a fruit you can eat, this is. So I'm gonna pop, well you can, I can't. I used to, <laughs> I'll tell you a story. When I was at university, we used to walk past a guy in the market on the way home from um, where I used to work, I had a Saturday job. And I work, walked through the market and the guy used to sell all fruit. And he sold mangoes. Now, I love mangoes. Um, probably my favourite fruit. And uh, obviously I can't eat fruit. But mangoes, I remembered I loved them and I knew I loved them. So when I knew my housemates weren't going to be in, I would buy a couple of mangoes off him, go home get into my comfy trousers, sit on the sofa, and I would eat my mangoes. My throat would swell up. I don't, I, there's, it's, it's not a, a life or death allergy. My throat swells up, my, I go a bit blotchy, and um, you know, I talk, talk a bit hoarse for a bit. Um, and afterwards I'm extremely tired, but that's sort of it. So I used to come home, I used to eat these mangoes, and my housemate used to get home from work, look at my face, and used to get so annoyed because I'd swollen up and um, he used to think I should do it when he was in the house so he could check to see if I was okay. By the way, did I mention that they had these in the kit? I feel I missed them. They are little bee embellishments and I know I miss them because I think they're lovely and I'll just spend some time showing you them. So they are, they're, I want to say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 of them. They're little bees. They're flat back so you can put your glue dots straight onto the back and stick them onto your sentiments like that. But yeah, so anyway, I used to look a right fool. Um, and luckily, it was the days just before Facebook really, really took off. It used to be MySpace and things like that. So there are no embarrassing pictures. Otherwise, I'm sure nowadays there'd be loads of pictures put up of it. And that's my first card. That took me seconds. I know it says 13 minutes on the video, but I, I, I chatted through it. So that took ages. Um, but really, it took seconds and it created that lovely card. I think that's so cute. So next up, I'm going to use a DSP. I'm going to use I think I'm gonna use this one. I am. That's the one I'm using. Pretty peacock. Right. Card base. I'm just going to use a strip of that, I think. I am. I've decided. Have you seen our new mini guillotine? <gasps> you can get this if you join Stamping Up during Celebration, and it's amazing. I'm just going to chop that of four inches, because I feel that's... I'm not going to chop it of four inches. I'm going to chop it of four centimetres. And I didn't even do that right, because I was talking. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to chop it at three centimetres 
Uh, I'm actually going to line it up this time. I was just too excited to tell you all about the new trimmer. It's cute, it's cute. So I'm just going to stick that onto the side of the card. Yeah, that little guillotine is going to be so handy for when I travel and do crafts on the road. Um, I have a few crafting friends that I go and visit. So that's going to be quite a handy little piece, I think. I'm just going to chop that down slightly. My bases are always ten, uh, sorry, 9.5 inches by 13.8 centimetres. 9 centimetres by 13.8 centimetres. So it's eight centimetres, so it can go in the middle and it can show more of that gorgeous paper off. And I'm going to stamp it. It's It's got this one on there, so I'm going to stamp it with that one. Little hint with the backing pieces, I know I say this quite often, but when you actually go to stick them down, put them on, but leave one corner loose. Okay. Peel it up and then just double back the corner so it's got a little bit of a lip on the side. The reason why is that will make it so much easier to get it off your blocks and off the, the DVD case because they are so sticky, they really are. This one, I'm just I'm pop that on there. Oh, I love these distinctive stamp sets as well. I think they're really cute. I'm going to have this one with "Thank you kindly." So that's quite a cute, cute sentiment. And I'm not thinking that I'm going to use all of this paper either. Everything's falling. Thank you kindly. Where's my little mini guillotine? I'll do that so it's nine centimeters. Oh, I did it in centimetres and I think I did it eight by nine. I can remember this. So I'm just going to do that. Eight and a half. By nine and a half. my pretty peacock blends I think so that I can add some colour onto here and I'm just going to do the berries with the dark and then over with the light. I don't know what bush, I get that this is sort of like a gooseberry, would it be gooseberry or would it be grape? Um, and I know that they're green. I don't know which sort of fruit is blue. Blueberry? But this doesn't look like a berry or you know I'm going to stop talking because I'm just showing my ignorance. But I want it to match the paper, so I'm doing it that way. And my dimensionals. And 
again, I'm just going to stick one of those on. So simple, you just use your paper piercer, a glue dot, drop it on the back of the B part on so it's stuck and flip it back on itself. She says as she walks away with it on her finger. Stick it straight onto the card and there you go. Card number two. Third card. And I think this will be my last, so I think I'm gonna just do, just go back to proper stamping now. I'm going to use the oranges that I used earlier. And I'm gonna make my own DSP on the cardstock. three look at that image it is so crisp and clear I love that okay I use my blends I've got the dark old olive I'm just running one line up these with a dark old olive because the image is quite shaded so you're going to get a lot of the shade that you need anyway without the blends. You could just do this with your stamp and write markers if you hadn't got the blends. I'm not going to the edge I'm just going part way. So I'm doing the majority of the flower, but I'm not doing all of it. There we go. Take the back of my dimensional off. Who else is plagued by dimensional blacks? I find them everywhere. I mean, if you haven't seen my craft room tour, I'm actually based in my bedroom. Um, so I'm in the corner of my bedroom. And that's where my little craft studio is. But I find dimensional backs in bed. I go downstairs to the kitchen and they're in the kitchen. The dog comes up for a cuddle on the sofa of an evening. He's got them stuck on his paws. They're everywhere. I think, you know, people have um, sock elves, that, you know, knick a sock, or the one that eats Tupperware lids and things like that. I actually think the one in my house just moves dimensionals into every place in the house and you finish and you think you're cleaned and you sit down and you see a dimensional back ah! orange oranges and I got out I got out um so saffron I'm gonna continue with so saffron because that's the color I got out we're gonna have anemic oranges over here or if they're coloured yellow, could they automatically be lemons? And we'll just say that they're they're circular deformed lemons. Okay, so we've either got anemic um, oranges or, or funny shaped lemons. Whichever one we, we want to say. And again, I'm not going all the way to the edge. I'm literally just adding a bit of colour. And I'm blending the colour down. that one as well so it looks like that I'm going to use one of these again I've learnt my lesson now though I know that these take a little bit of time to dry and I'm going to stay with thank you kindly because it's on my block I'm just going to pop that up there I am not having a good night. Look at that. I'm going to ignore it. It's not there. I'm going to put my bow over it. It's not there. I know it's there. I'm one of those people as well that if, if I've done something like that, I would do so much to cover it that actually it becomes more obvious. <laughs> so I have Old Olive. And my trimmer. So I'm going to do this 10 centimetres.
by 14.2 centimetres. So it just provides a nice backing on the card like that. What do you think? Would this be a set that you got? I, I think... Now, truthfully, they did one at Christmas. Um, that was fine. I was happy with that. But they did one earlier in the year that was a month. And I thought, it's it's a lot of money just for a sad amp set that's around for a month. But this is going to be around till July, um, at least. It might stay on, obviously, in the new catalogue. We never know. But I just can't believe how much you get in the set. There's stamps, dye, everything. Can't believe it. I'm still going to be looking at it later, think that, thinking that I've robbed stamping up. <laughs> because there's too much stuff in the set. That is a very bad bow. Very bad bow. Ooh. We can do better. We can do better. You know what it is? I, I'm filming this of an evening after I've finished work. And I should be banned from filming of an evening because I work all day. Um, and I have no idea when I get home. I have food and go to bed. So when I actually film of an evening, I'm all finger, fingers and thumbs. And I'm going to try the bow this way around because it just was not working the other way. Do you ever do this? I know I have other demos that watch my channel or other people that craft with a group of people. Do you ever notice when you're on your own, you can do bows? As soon as you start recording or as soon as you're sat with someone else and you're trying to do a bow, how hard it is to do. There we go. I'm going to move that across because that tail there is going to go over in a minute, that ink spot. I'm going to stick it there. Tell it. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Let's pop that up with a dimensional. glue dots. Solve every crafting crisis, glue dots. There we go. It's hidden the problem, it's hidden the problem. Under the ribbon. No one will ever know unless you receive this in the post because I quite often send customers of mine um, Little, little cards after they've shopped and stuff just to see how they are or my team so if you get this one in the post you're going to know exactly what's happened there <laughs> and there we go so that's three cards in oh well, 30 minutes, but I did spend five or so minutes talking about the kit and another five or so minutes talking about my allergies. So they're three completely different cards as to whether you like using fancy punch outs and fancy paper rather than doing a hell of a lot of stamping. A little bit of stamping with a mix of DSP and then a whole DSP background that's been made just from using this kit. And there is still like loads left. This is going to keep you going for ages. I love this set. Really do. Botanical prints and if you're looking for it in the catalogue it's on page 61 or you can head over to my website slimandstylish.com if you go up to the header and click buy it will take you to my store 
type in botanical prints it will come up there's the product code and it is £65, which means you could add it and you can get your celebration item because it's over £45. Or if you were thinking of joining, um, you could add this to your starter kit and you've kind of got everything to get started. So it's a great, great idea. Starter kits are £99, so you'd still have more to spend on the backing card stock, um, a few bits of adhesive and perhaps an ink. And it would go with it quite nicely. Again, if you want a copy of the catalogue, give me a shout, I'll pop one in the post. Any questions, let me know. If you do like this video, do subscribe for more. Thanks for joining me. Bye.